Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who've taught us the 100% truth. And honors and salutations to the elect document doing these works in sincerity and in truth, week in, week out, in season and out of season. <clears throat> so, yeah, man, I was just watching that interview with, um, you know, that girl, Pearl, Pearl, and Andrew Tate, and the other uh, seat fillers, okay? <coughs> with due respect to, as they call their auntie. You know, the elderly woman. Oh, hey, may you how about Shemashah have mercy upon a woman like that? <clears throat> you know, if it be the Lord's will. So as I'm just watching that interview, man, it inspired this lesson, you know, that I would like to entitle, uh, all that cute shit will be out the window. Okay. All that feminine empowerment. I don't need a man type energy. Is all going to fly right out the window, man. You know? And they and they, they must really think that the Lord is playing games. They must think the Lord is playing with them. Alright, so I got two scriptures in mind. This is why Plantation Christianity is in major trouble for leading people astray. They led people to think that the Lord is a pushover. And they let people to think that it doesn't matter what you do. The Lord is going to automatically forgive you. They let people to think that, man, that the Lord is going to come back with uh, roses. All right. Reese's peanut butter cups. You know, gift baskets. They let people to think that the Lord doesn't need to be feared. So they let people to think that you could do as thou will. And, you know, you have nothing to worry about. But it's the, it's quite the contrary, man. Before I get this, matter of fact, let me get this real quick. I know it's in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 5 and 22. It says, fear ye not me, save the Lord. Yeah, so you don't fear you? How about your mouth, Shai? The Lord wants women to live a certain way. He, he wants you to live a certain way, man. Okay, let me get that matter of fact. So here it is. If the Lord is telling you to live a certain way and you don't do it, that's why the Lord is asking. You don't fear me? You don't fear the king of the king of terrors? You don't fear the uh uh the most high the most high destroyer? Okay? So this is uh the book of um Ah oh, man. Lost my train of thought on it, man. Doing running my big mouth. But anyway, man, it says uh it'll, it'll come back to me, Lord Willing. But says, fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye? Oh, yeah. That's what it was. The water, y'all watch my shot. First Timothy chapter 5, verses 14. It says, I will therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Yeah, so meaning what? That we should be on our best behavior. The woman should be on their best behavior as well. Giving nothing for the enemy to be able to say uh, against us. But when you go out there to the club, you, you 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 try and you put your career before you put a before you put your original duties, which is to as it just said to bear children. In order to bear children, you got to have a husband. All right. So to get a husband, bear children, guide the house. 
okay? Which means taking care of your household, making sure that your children are being taught right, make sure that the children are safe. Th these are your true duties according to Yahweh Baruch Shemel Shah. And yes, the man, well, well, what about the man? What what about this? What about, we ain't talking about the, the, uh, the man right now. Every time we you know, talk about the woman, yo, every time we, you know, talk about doing something, you got to say, well, what about this? What, a Dude, just take the correction. You know, if a man is a, a man is able to uh, 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 hold it down, you can fulfill the description. Now, now we in captivity, you know, you may have to get a part time job to help out. But the ultimate responsibility, man, is this right here. Okay. Now let me get a, a, a precept to that as well. I believe it's in the book of a. Uh, uh... Yeah, here it is, right here. More, more on what the Lord expects. Okay, from from the daughters of Israel, from from from. All right, who is his family? So, you know, when you don't do this, man, it brings you back to the Lord saying, fear you not me. So the Lord is requiring a certain lifestyle from you women. And you're doing the exact opposite. It said bear children. Instead, you put in your career first. It said guide the house. Instead, you out at the clubs. You know, out at, out at parties, girls night out. You know, this fucking bullshit, man. The America got got their minds tainted very badly, man. It's where they think that that's a bad thing. Oh, why well, we can't? Oh, 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 oh. Well, this is why Isaiah chapter one verse five says they're stricken, but well, the Lord will not stri stricken thee anymore. You will revolt more and more. So now the Lord is, is drawing a line in the sand now, between the two thirds and the one third in the elect. So it says, uh, Titus chapter two verse three. The age woman likewise. Okay. Oh, let me let me start the top. Matter of fact, you know, because they always say, "Well, what about the man? What about?" This is uh, Titus chapter two, verse one. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. The age men be sober, right? And that just means a man uh, uh, a man can drink, but that just means being on point. Okay. In the spirit. It says grave. Okay. Uh, temperate. Sound in faith. And charity and patience. Alright. Temperate being what? Uh, discipline. So a man is supposed to be serious. Discipline. Alright. Faithful to Yahweh Shem Al Shai. Supposed to have charity, helping out, helping out the brotherhood, and patience. All right, and then it says the age woman likewise, that they be in uh, behavior as becometh holiness. See, so you're supposed to have behavior that's becometh holiness, according to the scriptures. Holiness meaning what? Being separate. Right? Separate from the world, separate from the way of the heathen. It says not false accusers, not given to much wine. And yeah, you we see that in America. You have girls and, and wearing high heels, stumbling, uh, all pass out on the floor, all drunk and shit. See, you're not supposed to be given much wine, man. Then they got the song, the old school T Pain song. Blaming on the al 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 alcohol, you know. Shut up. All right. So it says, uh, teachers of good things. All right. And now, where do you find good things? What's the standard of good things? You have somebody that says, "Oh no, hey, you got a, uh, you got the uh, the uh, uh, the nasty the nasty community." Who um, they speak upon uh, you know the uh, uh, the transformers and trying to turn kids out. 
you have people that take you got people that take uh, uh, um, their children to those shows, and they'll say, "Hey, this is a good thing." But then you got people that says, "No, it's a good thing to teach your kids that that's not right." So how do we measure up to what's teaching them good things? You have to look into the scriptures, man. This is why the scriptures say, uh, "There's those that's woe unto them that's wise in their own eyes and that's prudent in their own sight." Scripture, another scripture. They speak not if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. Okay, and we know that at the end of the day, that light is going to uh, uh, represent and, and turn into salvation. So if you're not speaking according to the scriptures, there's no light in you, man, and you are as darkness. And the darkness representing what? Wickedness, ignorance. So the scriptures determine what's what's wrong, what's bad, and what's good. All right. The Lord determines what's bad and what's good. What the Lord likes and what he doesn't like determines what's bad and what's good, man. He's the one that created us. Right? So now I just read what's good that a that a, that a woman bear children, guide the house. And and now the Lord is also saying that they become his holiness. Not false accusers, not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. Says that they may teach the young woman to be sober. Okay? To to love their husbands. Not put them on child support. Not divorce them. Just because, oh, I figured him out. I know him like the back of my hand. He's boring now. On to the next one. No. You're supposed to be taught to love your husbands, man. Not get rid of them. Like a god, like you, like you changing a goddamn shirt. Okay, it says to love their children. Yeah, not be a, a hardened toward them, man. Feeding them hot pockets, bagel bites, uh, pizza bites. Give them some food that's going to help nourish their mind, man. Because remember, the scriptures say, let us not love in tongue, but in deed and in truth. You show your love by your actions. Not giving them just McDonald's. You know, show true love. Cook them a home-cooked meal, man. Don't they, don't they say that that's, that's, lo that's love, man? That's, that's the way to a man's heart is a home-cooked meal? Come on, man. It says to be discreet. All right? Discreet. Like they say, I want a lady in the street, but a freak in the bed, man. They got the, the song that goes. A lady in the streets covering herself up. Being modest. Being humble. Being shamefaced. Boy, I can't wait for a hollow break, dude. Right? So it says, uh, uh, to be chased. And that's a good point that they made on that show. Andrew Tate was saying, I don't, it disgusts me if you come up to me and tell me I'm about to drop the bombest punani you ever had on you. He said, that is disgusting to me. You're supposed to be pure. You're supposed to be a virgin. You're supposed to be, you know? So yeah, that's being chased, man. It says, keepers at home. Keepers at home. But what about girls day out? We can't go out once. And keepers at home. Okay. It says good. Obedient to their own husbands. What don't you understand? Oh, can I go out and do this and that? Your husband says, no. No, nah, not tonight. You say, oh, excuse me? Who you think you owe this? No. That's not. The Lord requires you to be obedient. Now, remember the original scripture I brought out. Fear ye not me. You don't fear Yahweh Bashamal Shai. You don't fear the most high power. This is what the Lord is telling your eyes to do. So all that cute shit, all that irony in a man, the exact opposite of everything the Lord requires of you, 
the Lord, the Lord gonna visit y'all for that, man. Y'all think he playing? Y'all think the Lord is playing with y'all? Y'all think the Lord is some pushover? Just watch horror movies, man. Watch a horror movie. Watch that movie Smile. Watch that movie Smile. Watch a horror movie, man. And see how much your ass gonna be scared. How much your ass gonna be in fear. The most high controls all that. The most high can send that upon you, man. The most high don't gotta harm you physically. He could harm he could harm your ass spiritually, man. Mentally. Or physically if you want. Financially if you want. It's a million ways for the Lord to destroy you, man. Y'all think the Lord is playing with y'all, man? Y'all think the Lord is some pushover? You think the Lord is not to be feared? When he told your ass to do something? And if you go off, you better repent, man. You better, you better apologize to the Lord. You better uh, uh, you better make a game plan and come correct the next time. You better make an atonement to Yahweh Hashem and Shai. Because none of us is perfect. But to be willingly ignorant... Man, you better fear you how about Shmuel Shai, man. All that cute shit is about to be out the window real soon. And trust me. Man, it pisses it pisses me off. It pisses the righteous men off to see these women act like that. But how much more does it piss off the Lord? And the Lord is going to know. The scripture say, every idle word you shall hold account of in the day of judgment. So when you say you don't need a man... When all hell break loose, the Lord gonna remember you said that. And you're gonna be all on your own, man. You gonna get gang, you gonna get gang winged. You gonna get gang winged. You gonna get all of that, man. You gonna be held captive. The Lord ain't to be played around with, man. All that cute shit, man, it's about to be out the window real soon, man. You think you real cute, all right? You fucking feminist woman, man. You think y'all real cute, man. Y'all asses better repent, man. The true men of the Lord. All right? We're the men you really need to be listening to, man. We're the top men on the planet Earth right now. Because we're carrying the Lord's message. Take us as a joke if you want to, man. But like the scriptures say, when these things come to pass, then lo, they shall know that a prophet have been among them. The Lord ain't playing with y'all hoes, man. You can say many days, many days and years. So you be trouble, you careless woman. Keep thinking shit is fucking cute out here, man. We don't got too much time left here in this place. The more they push that CBDC, the closer it is to all hell breaking loose. The more they demonize us and give us fame, the more it's close to all hell breaking loose, man. And the men of the Lord, we ready for it. Telling you, man, that cute shit about to be out the window real soon. All that cute shit, man, shit done with. Low on this edifying. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.